Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make this Babbit plushie. And this is what the character creature looks like. It's a half rabbit bat like creature. This is called a Babbit. It's from the series called Hodocha. It's an anime. It's really good. It's one of my favorites. This is the main character. Oh, okay. So, there's my sketch right here. Um, so we start with the head. I've made my templates. This and here's the ears. I'll show you on a smaller one of how I did it. So, here's the two pieces. You need the front and the back head. You want to make sure that before you attach them together that you finish drawing on like the eyes and the mouth. Right? And then once you've done that, you're ready to sew it. Put, attach them two together. And um, here's the um, ears. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to have not the ears, I didn't want it to be sewn off because then when you stuffed it, it would like would be kind of floppy and wouldn't stay. So I sewed one ear to the right side like this, and then I sewed the other side, the other ear like this. Then I put the other piece on top, right sides together, and then I attached the ears together so that there's a hole. You can see right here. See, this is the back of the head, and here's the front. And you see here these like two holes because this is the ears right here. And also, um, when you're sewing, you can use pinking shears. Um, they cut this look, zigzag edge so that the, the material won't fray it as well. And so here's the main piece. This is the head first. And then we'll turn it inside out. Here's the head. The front looks like with the ears. And here's the back. So I have this hole open so I can stuff it. And you can see here, it opens like this, right? Throw it everywhere. Okay, so I made the stencil for the body, the heart, traced it, cut out two, and then I'm going to sew the pink on heart onto the front piece first, and then attach it together and attach the main piece. For the wings, uh, I've made out my pattern, traced it here, we're going to cut four, and then we're going to sew this, turn it inside out, and then attach this to the body before we attach the main body together, right? And also in, inside, we're going to use a piece of um, white interfacing to make the wings stiffs. So we're going to cut a piece smaller than this and then we're going to shove it inside to make it uh, more f firm and stiff. Before you put the back on to the body part, you want to make sure that you sew on its feet first and then the wings. So I've already sewn this into place. Now this will be a bit tough, it's tricky to fold this in, right? And put the back here and same with the legs, fold this inside. And then sew this around and then carefully turn it inside out. Afterwards, then you can attach the head together. So it'll look like this. It's Babbit. I think it looks pretty close. This image looks like this. This the body part. And this is what Babbit looks like. And I just used some thread to sew around here to give it the little kind of feet looking like. And I lightly attached the body to the head. So there's two holes now at the back to stuff the body and the head. And so you stuff it. I'm using an old pillow. Uh, yeah, I just shoved it through the wash so it wouldn't be so nasty. And then you just shove it in and stuff a lot because later on it will get squashed too flat. So you need to really stuff a lot. And then to close this off, you have to hand sew it in and then that's it. Okay, so here's the finished rabbit. Hi, ah, you're so awesome. Okay, here's the back. I like the ears. It actually turned out really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So yeah, that's it. Bye! Oh, you fell down! No good!